What is up everybody and welcome back to the Mid-Level Media channel. I am Ken here today for a very special Dollar General hunt. That's right, we're going to hit up some Dollar Generals. Last time I had quite a bit of luck when I went into the Dollar General stores in my area. I'm going to try to hit up some different ones today, but we're going to uh, go to at least three, see what kind of Blu-rays and DVD sales and deals that they got. So I'm excited, but before we get in there, I'm going to ask that if you are not yet a subscriber, of the mid-level media channel what are you waiting for hit that subscribe button i do all kinds of great physical media based content on this channel blu-ray hunts of 4k blu-ray reviews physical media updates the whole thing so definitely hit that subscribe button also be sure to like this video comment down below if you've been to any dollar generals lately what have you found and yeah so yeah i'm super excited let's go ahead and get in there and see what they got Alright guys, so I just got out of the first Dollar General. They actually had some pretty cool stuff in there. That Frank Darabont um, triple pack set looked pretty cool. I, I really thought about picking that up. I already have the Shawshank and the Green Mile in my collection, but I don't have the Majestic. And that was a really nice box set. Let me know if I should have grabbed that because I may go back and get it. But um, yeah, they had some movies that I may have grabbed, but they were five bucks. Was, they were a little bit cheaper. I might've grabbed them. I know I saw Into the Storm in there. Mortal Kombat Annihilation was in there. If they had the first one, I might've grabbed that for five bucks. But I ended up getting this four movie musical collection. Musical is a genre that I, I feel like I need to dive into a little bit more. I've still never seen Singing in the Rain and that was included in this set. You also had The Bandwagon, Calamity Jane, and Kiss Me Kate. So I feel like I've heard of Calamity Jane, but I haven't heard of the other one. So this is a really nice uh, box set, Blu-ray box set for 10 bucks, And it says it has like exclusive collector cards. And it's got 3D and 2D versions of Kiss Me Kate. So yeah, this is a really cool collection. I, I think this is pretty awesome. So I usually don't like the multi-packs, but it, this one's different because it's actually got like, uh, it looks like it's kind of set up like the Alfred Hitchcock box set that came out yesterday, yesterday with the... Uh, the like envelopes on the inside with the disc individually. So this feels like it's a little bit different. So I went ahead and grabbed it and you had $10 for four movies, really good price. And I got some classic musicals in the collection. So, all right guys, let's go ahead and head to our next Dollar General location. All right guys, getting ready to go into our second Dollar General. Let's see what we can find.
All right, guys, so I just got out of the second Dollar General location. Now, I know I kind of joked about it in there and kind of hit it, and then I found a second copy, but I almost grabbed uh, Charlie and the Chocolate Factor. I was like this close. If it had been $5, I'd have probably grabbed it. I really don't like that movie. Like, I remember seeing that movie in theaters, and I hated it. Um, I love Willy Wonka. It's like one of my all-time favorite movies, and to me, that movie was just how to not do a remake correctly. Um, but yeah, I just, I, I don't like that movie at all. It's up there with Rob Zombie's Halloween movie. That's how much I don't like it. Not quite as high, but definitely up there. But part of me just wanted to have it in my collection, especially since we're getting the 4K of Willy Wonka soon. But I, I just couldn't do it. Like I said, if it would have been a little cheaper, I might have grabbed it. But let me show you what I did grab. I grabbed this Chadwick Boseman film, The Get On Up. Had not seen it. This is the James Brown biopic. So yeah, um, R.I.P. Chadwick Boseman. I do want to own like all of his films if I can find them. I got 42. I got Black Panther. Uh, now I got to get on up. And this is going for like $18 on Amazon right now for the Blu-ray. Uh, so to get it for $5 was an absolute steal. So glad I got this one uh, to add to the collection. This one I got is another one that I remember not liking. I saw this movie in theaters. I think I saw it on cable a couple years later. But it's been years uh, since I've seen it. But it is a Stephen King adaptation. I do want to own most of Stephen King's adaptations, his work in my collection at some point. So I had to get the Dreamcatcher movie from 2003. I remember seeing this in the theaters when I was in high school and it was so boring and so stupid and it just goes in some really awkward, weird directions. And yeah, I was not uh, for this movie when it came out. It, it just was not good. It's got an interesting cast. It's got a good cast. It's got Morgan Freeman in it and uh, Jason Lee, but... Yeah, this movie, I need to rewatch it. Part of me just wants to rewatch it and see how bad it was because, like I said, it's literally been like 15 years. But yeah, I remember this being horrible. But it is Stephen King, and now I own it in my collection on Blu ray. This, I don't know if it was a mistake, but on Amazon right now, the Blu ray is going for $52. So this might actually be worth something, and I haven't checked yet. But um, yeah, Dreamcatcher on Blu ray. Glad to find this one. But all right, guys, we're going to see if we can catch one more Dollar General location, and then we're going to close out the video into the last Dollar General location, and now it's raining. All right, guys, let's see what they got for us here. Alright guys, so just got out of my final Dollar General and I didn't get anything because they said they were only taking cash. I guess their machines were down or something. I had a couple of releases that I picked out. I was going to get Lost in Space on Blu-ray and Sid and Nancy, but I don't know. I'll probably end up going back later and maybe picking those up at some point, but uh, apologies for the anticlimactic ending to the Dollar General uh, hunt today. But again, guys, I appreciate you guys joining me on this hunt. So yeah, guys, anything that I picked up today that you're a fan of, let me know in the comment section below. Which one should I watch first? Uh, also, what have you picked up in your local Dollar Generals lately? If you've gone out, let me know down below. Just anything that I might have missed that's good uh, that you guys want to call out. I always enjoy reading those comments and kind of going back and and getting those ones that you guys call out. So appreciate you guys watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, turn on those bell notifications for future videos, and I'll see you next time.